country set to go. Will Lynch will be doing the honors. He's facing off at 62% for the Fighting Irish. And immediately a hold call and Cornell will come away with. Now it's cursed. Left hand with speed. Head up the whole way. Underneath shot goal. Ryan Goldstein, how you like me now? Goodness. Wow. Cornell coming out, wins the faceoff. Uh, CJ Curse sort of coming off a pick action there for across the top hooker. It is, is then able to screw the faceoff. Even if they don't win the draw, they'll continue scrapping and fighting. Goldstein behind, finds it up top. Edsman with the body save, controls the rebound. And the are And this is facing. Gruden facing. Shot just a bit wide. And that is backed up by Pat Cavanaugh. Both Long Island natives. Happy to be back here in the 5-1-6. Cavanaugh, shot goal, 1-1. One, one. He has an ability to turn the corner and, and shoot anywhere he likes. He does. They also shoot in some ways they take shots when you're not totally expecting it to come. They're very creative. And they and both Pat and Chris Cavanaugh are creative, effective shooters, sometimes out of rhythm when the defenseman, here he comes. So here comes Pat, he comes around, nobody's really ready, boom! Like he, he shot when no one was expecting to shoot, which then catches people off guard. The integral part of each team, you watched yesterday, I called the Penn Harvard game. These, these teams ride like crazy to get the ball back and also to, to, to create chaos. Check as he hits Al Nikolic ice hockey uh, and Liz in lacrosse. So that's two, two Cornell players that have both parents played sports at Cornell, which is kind of cool. Ryan Goldstein being the other. And they say Tim Goldstein's highly regarded. Tina was an All-American player as well. Shot goes wide, backed up by Goldstein. For clarity, she was a three-time All-American player. So many people attribute most of Ryan's athletic ability to Tina more so than Tim. That's the going rumor in Philadelphia. Gray, number 17. Five and one on the season shot. Dobson gets knocked to the turf. And Kavanaugh's riding. Ooh, great play to get that ball cleared. Oh, another great save by Entman. Once again, still got the matchup against the short. He's got some space here to operate. Gets a shot off, sweeping right-handed. And now we will learn of the foul flag on the far side. Technical foul, illegal procedure. Just around the outside, Kavanaugh to Kavanaugh. Oh, nice little fake inside shot goal. The man up continues to click. Richie Ardelli with the finish, a man up specialist out of New Canaan, Connecticut. Played for coach Nick Bell at the Taft School. We are gonna step away just momentarily as the Irish now with a 2-1 lead here at Elfie before he gets all-conference. T. Light, as they called him in his days at Notre Dame. Facing right-hand alley. Behind to Kavanaugh and, oh, that's a big hammer. Hooper drives the boat, Chief. That is what Eric Dobson does, and he now has 10 goals on the season bringing the hammer down. Here comes the replay. They look down the backside to Dobson, who catches it with a little bit of space in there. It's funny, he scored a lot more goals last year, and so I'm one of the top guys in the country. Silos is very, very effective in the early going here at winning faceoffs or at least contesting. Great cross field feed. Wow! It's got to be jelly, because Jim don't shake like that. That is passing. It's never going to make the top plays, but that's an elite level look. 
It's lefty to lefty, so it's Spencer Wertheim coming down that backside. He sees Firth across the crease, catch, finish, goal. Like, I'm not sure how they lost Firth. They wrestled me to get the ball back. Riley Gray and Angrick up top. This is Angrick. Behind to Kavanaugh. Feet straight up top to his brother. Chris down the wing, shot, goal. Wow. That's a great shot by Riley Gray. Simple offense. Very, very simple, yeah. I talked to Kevin at some length yesterday, and as he says, we do what we do, right? They're not going to adjust a lot. So you see Riley Gray come and catch it and gets it off quickly. As the goalie's still adjusting from where he was looking at Kavanaugh, he has to adjust now to his left. By the time he's adjusted, that ball was already shot. So that... Drives, throws back. And now it's Ali for Kelleher. Up to Mikey Long. Great stutter step. Ball in and out of the stick. And Lee Entman does so many things well. Almost a great ride by the big redhead. A nice little pump fake by Entman. Great play by Liam Entman. Very smooth and very well executed. Notre Dame's team middies. And that's tough to handle. That's a big goal for 77. Nick Harris. Harris out of Dublin, Kaufman. Somewhere Matty Burner smiling. Harris, normally a D midi, gets the ball cleared, looking to see who to dump it off to. Gets inside, and then all of a sudden is in a perfect shooting lane, and boom. Dodson with a big size matchup there against Box for Cornell. And space to operate, too. There's a lot of space here. Shot, goal, driving the alley. Great, Abe Lincoln's mullet. Acceleration, domination, Dobson. I can almost see that one coming, Booker. It was a big size advantage. There was space to operate. Dobson's normally left-handed. There was that big lane down the right. Carries, gets a clean look, and lets it go. Here he comes, left-handed. He's going to split down the right side. There's plenty of room to operate. Good, solid eight, nine-yard shot out. Buries it right-handed. And you talked about the size. You know, it didn't have a lot of angle, but it was a shot nonetheless. Right. You talk about the athleticism in his family. His grandfather on his mom's side played for the New England Patriots for five years. So he certainly has the genes. Come on, CJ! Oh, no, you did! CJ Kirst! What a great play by CJ Kirst. And, and it came at a time when they needed it. They needed a goal to sort of steady the ship here a little bit, you know, to be right in the ball game where they are. And CJ comes hard left-handed. Again, shot at a time when no one really saw that one coming and just whipped it in the top corner. Here comes CJ. He's going to drive right-handed. He's going to use that pick. Then he'll come back, change the direction against a short. He's, he's left-handed, right? So this is, the, this is the hand and the shot he wants. Just a little faith dodge, and here comes the re-dodge. Gets to his left, and then, boom! Before anyone's totally ready, takes it from low to high and whips it. Our team in Philadelphia has been great. It's been a great recruiting tool and coaching and teaching tool for our kids. Um, they've done very well, and I think the program is really well run. Highly competitive and a great way to sort of show your skills. Lynch with the face-off win over the cage. I didn't think, feel like Jake had his hands all the way free. He kind of caught it inside, which he's very good at, but he didn't have like a clean hands to go all the way on the shot. Long cross field pass to Dobson. He splits left to right, then rolls back. Pulls a crazy Ivan up there at the top of the box. Oh, shot goal in the corner. Somebody call that corner an Uber, because it just got hammered. <laughs> uh, really pretty play by Jordan. Uh, he, he's kind of on that, that wing, right? And the ball is getting rotated nicely. So Notre Dame's starting to move their feet better. You're going to see the ball gets rotated from this side, right? This is Chris Cavanaugh rotates it. But that was the pass inside to Jake Taylor, which just went wide. Here comes Jordan down the left. It's just a perfect... Long Island product out of Massapequa High School. 
produced some great players back in their day. Here's Kelleher. Stop and go, gets it to Mikey Long. Mikey's gonna carry that short behind. Cornell will try to look to create some space here for Mike to operate. Here he comes right-handed. Shot goal, Mikey Long. And he just quicked them. Acceleration domination. Yeah, it, you could kind of see that one coming a little bit, right? It was smart offense. Michael Long carries it down to X, uses speed, gets above goal line extended, gets into a shooting spot, and lets it go. So here he comes. Just really good shot. And Liam Entman, though, he barely missed that. Like, yeah. he was right in position. The switch now has the long stick on him. And here's that ball movement that Cornell loves off the switches. Kelleher, now it's behind. Kirst. That's right, great slide by the Notre Dame defense. Smart too, early, discouraged the, the shot. They're coming early again, great handle. Goldstein moves it quickly, shot, goal. Cornell rolling. Because I stepped through the fog and I creep through the smog. And I'm Snoop Doggy. Doggy, doggy, dog. Great play, really good look by Ryan Goldstein there. Cornell's starting to rotate the ball and they're playing better offense. They get it to Ryan, who very quickly gets CJ Kirst, takes a look, boom, goal. It's also being helped, Booker, by the fact that they're winning faceoffs. Here's Angrick. Angrick out of Georgetown Prep. Coach Scott Yurick. Doing a great job developing talent there. Time room bullseye. That's why they call it execution. Great play by Boozenkill. Um, he, he, he's one of those guys that just finds his way. You know, he finds spots and finds opportunities. Um, in that particular case, he's going to carry it left-handed. Um, he, he sees a good open lane there and then shoots you know, and finishes the shot effectively. Really nice play. That was an outrageous fake. I was really surprised he missed the goal. Watch double coming. Look, oh, what a save. Knott's going down nice and low to get that one. And now Cornell. A couple simple passes, and they have the clear. Here's Mikey Long. They're running the field with the poles. Oh, taken down. Flag flies. And some of the fans letting the referees know that they're not as thrilled with the call. I wonder if they've ever officiated a game. Cornell will go on the man advantage. Nice opportunity for Cornell here. There's seven minutes to go, so there's plenty of time. It's only a technical foul for 30 seconds. They're going to have to operate fairly quickly. Uh, but, you know, extra man situation. They pull this to 8-6. If they keep winning faceoffs, they're, they're right in the ballgame. Long Island native out of Smithtown West High School, number 40, Danny Cadigan. Ten goals, three assists on the year, mostly a man-up guy. Here come the big red, Kelleher straight up top. Here is Cadigan. Mikey Long, Kelleher pops off the, cr oh, diagonal. That is Taco Bell filthy. That is a pass for the ages. That's what they were trying to get the last time. They try to, to sort of slide and then get that nice diagonal look next to the goal for the slam dunk. And you could see them looking for that angle the last time. In this case, he carries it. There's Nikolic, goal. That's what they want. They want to get that diagonal slam dunk down the backside, and that time it worked. The previous time, Notre Dame was in the passing lanes, and they couldn't get it through. Tidy save, no rebound. Cornell will clear. Bounce pass knocked to the ground, and Cavanaugh rides it back. Chris Cavanaugh comes up with it. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't throw that to his brother. I thought his brother was wide open in front of the goal. Oh, shot goal, left-handed. Alley Dodge, that's number 17, Riley Gray. Sixth goal this season. I'm surprised he only has six. I mean, he's so smooth the way he operates. He's also a really effective shooter. Comes down, very calm, takes a look. 
Really smooth. Very smooth execution. Really pretty goal. A ride. Take Cornell, you have to give them a lot of credit for how good they are at scrapping on 50-50 tough ground balls. They're very good at that. Blake in a little bit of peril, but survives it. And gets it to Andrew Dalton. Dalton, number 42. Five goals, five assists this season. CJ with a short here operating. Notre Dame looking to come quickly and provide help. Come on, CJ! Let's go, swim move behind. Come on, CJ! Inside roll, shot goal. Going down low. Hold your nose, because here goes the cold water. Great play by C.J. Kirst. And it appeared to me like he was looking to dodge and score that entire time. There was not a lot of looking to feed. You tell me. I agree. I, I think at times C.J. wants to play within the flow, continue moving. At other times, he's like, give me the ball, and I'm going to the hoop. And in this particular case, he goes swim move. Then he wants to come real hard left hand and get to that top side. Doesn't really get it. Spins back down the backside with an inside roll and scores. Really, really good play by C.J. Kirsch. Ryan Nust, probably a good confidence builder too. Reset of the shot clock to 60 seconds. Jason finds a cutter up top. Kavanaugh, oh, what a great feed to Taylor. That is just flat out pretty. That's an unreal pass by Chris Kavanaugh. And, he, and it wasn't like he was in that tight. He was spaced out fairly wide. Still has all the eyes and skill level to see to the inside all the way to Jake Taylor, who's like a lethal inside finisher, and puts it right on the money. It was a really excellent pass. You'll see it here. So it's Jordan coming down. Tries to get to the hoop, doesn't have much. Here comes Chris Kavanaugh, pushed out wider, sees it, goal. Like really great pass, great catch. Another face-off win, but knocked away. Maintained <laughs> possession. Great job by Hagstrom. And now a cross feed, long pole, shot goal. Oh, are you feeling it, Evil? That was almost like a Cornell goal. They had lost the face-off. They scrapped and fought to get it back. Their face-off man throws it to a long stick who scores. Like, that was almost a Cornell-like play. Great shot. Hard bouncer that bounces up in the top part of the goal. The soft have to go. If you're Cornell, you want to cut this off now. If you're Notre Dame, you want to just pour it on. Kavanaugh comes around and a nice shrugged off save, and it's going to be Cornell possession. Great hustle. Uh-oh, <laughs> Brock Behrman out of Loyola Academy in Illinois. Cornell, oh. it's gonna be a one minute trip, I'll bet. Oh, they didn't call that, that's interesting. That really is. That's it. And surprising. Yeah. Get their offense going, create the flow and the momentum and kind of sort of work and do what they do. Pat Cavanaugh gets a pick from McLean. Has the short stick matchup now. Does some jitterbugging. But Aiden Blake will have none of it. He saved. Wyatt Nuss is first doing a good job balancing as Goldstein. Fakes one way, goes the other. Entman fists that one. And he just heaves it in desperation. But got lucky, he went straight to a Notre Dame stick. Yeah. He was fortunate that ball landed in the safe spot. Double comes, and that's gonna be a flag. That, that's, a, that's gonna be a flag. Let's see what the call here is. I couldn't tell how high that was. 
Did that come in a little bit high? Ooh, is Enterman hurt? He's kind of coming off the field. He doesn't feel so great. Full time. Do the body check. Full time, sir. Two minutes. And then another flag flew here on the near side. Here's a replay of it. You see it grinding. The double team comes, and they have something here. And then he was shot, never makes it. And Rick Giardelli backs it up. 46 seconds on the shot clock. As you see the Powell across banner over there. What a great company, Casey Powell. Rick Giardelli, another save. Another one. Oh, and it trickles in. <laughs> what an what a unfortunate turn of events for Wyatt Nuss. It is, it is unfortunate for Wyatt because he made some really big saves. And those kinds of things can be big momentum builders, right? When you, here comes the first one. He kind of, Jake Taylor sort of whips it underneath. Riccardi sort of throws it in there. He saves it, but the ball has spin on it, and it spins its way back into the goal. And we can see. For you older folks. Uh, P. LaSala for you younger folks. It's a huge moment for Cornell, right? Because if no team gets it again they, and they're extra man, they go up four. Cornell scores your, it's, it's, that could be a two goal swing right there. Cornell has killed off the man down. Kelleher shoulders in big time. And then spins it back. Goldstein behind, lob pass, Kelleher shot goal. Two goal swing, right? Notre Dame, Silos goes out there and a man down face without a wing on his side, wins it and like a warrior, they get the ball on offense, they rotate, rotate it through Kelleher, shot goal. Now it's a two goal game. Silos deserves a lot of credit for this goal, shot, Really pretty shot just inside the pipe. Very well done. And you know, we referenced some of the older players in the world, Scott Gabrielson and Chris Flynn. I mean, carry it from behind, either go to score for himself or to create the slide as a passer. Nice change of direction. Here comes the slide. Bumps it to X. Boy, I thought Goldstein might have had yeah. CJ just for half a second there. Shot clock at 10 right now. Goldstein, a little case of the dropsies. Yeah, change in direction. Feed, goal, what a play with one second on the shot clock. Celebration, a man went down there for Cornell. Notre Dame on the sideline, Booker, if you can see, they're looking at that replay closely to see if they had gotten the goal before the shot clock expired. I think they did. Here is the replay, look at Goldstein, that change of direction. Well, I don't know why they would lose CJ Kirst open there. <laughs> With one second left in the shot clock, goals is not going to score from this far out. He's not even looking to shoot. Why would you, you know, I just don't get why they would leave CJ Kirst open inside. It's hide. It's so much bigger than being down by one. Keller's yeah, got a step. Roll back, throw back, long, little okey. <laughs> Scorches one wide. Last minute check there, though. I think he got a little check on that stick. Goldstein coming. Oh, Goldstein! The kid's as skinny as a chimney sweep, but he's got hands like a moil. Yeah, that was a beautiful play. That was the same shot he tried earlier. He kind of comes from behind, and before you know it's coming, you expect it. There's not a lot of angle there, but there was enough angle to get it in. Here comes Ryan Goldstein, burst of speed. He kind of, before you know it's coming, he just kind of flips it. His godfather, Joe Lizio, up to one green clear. Mikey Long going against Light. Not a comfortable feeling. Sean Light. Sean's a great cover guy um, and very, very hard to beat. Boy, Cornell, coming out of halftime, this is, could not be going better for Cornell. Like the momentum is really strong for them right now. Hurst, Hurst, double inside. He shot goal, Goldstein deflects it in, puts up a one-timer right there, and just like that, Cornell has the 13-12 lead. Goldstein just drops into the AO. 
the area of operations. I don't know whether he shot this or whether it bounced off him. It was hard to see what actually happened. Here he comes. It bounced off him. George, I said it once. I'll say a steam on that one. Notre Dame's, a, Notre Dame's a little bit on the rocks right here. They're, they're like up against the ropes here, Booker. And earlier they looked to be in full control. Nikolic, great save, great save by Entman. Rebound and crease violation at Abbott. Punt return clear. Correct. Correct. It's very effective. If you can run that far and that fast, that's one way to get it out of there. This is Riley Gray. He's been dangerous today. Doubled. Good throw back, one more. Here it comes. Kavanaugh, oh, great save. Rebound, grab behind the back. Goal, Jake Taylor doing what Jake Taylor does. It's like the ultimate Jake Taylor goal. He's always inside doing creative stuff. He catches a rebound, clean out of thin air, and then flips it behind his back for the goal. Like a young Bobby Benson. Shot. Here comes save. Clean out of thin air. Whoop! It was an incredibly great play by Jake Taylor. He's got really good hands and got good instincts, and those serve him well. Open shot here for Kavanaugh. A little shocked he didn't score. Save. One hand grab. Whoop! Boom goal. It's really intimate. Is almost making a donation <laughs> to the linebacker club, the monogram club, the linebacker lounge. Speaking of the linebacker lounge, here's one of their great football slash lacrosse players. Couldn't face it. Dobson. Dobson. We haven't seen him since the first half. Kavanaugh rolls back, gets it off, shot goal. Patty Cav. I left the jag and I took the rolls. If they ain't cutting it, I put them on foot patrol. Great play by, by Pat Kavanaugh. Notre Dame getting back into their rhythm now, like moving the ball, creating shots, and doing what they do. That's a beautiful shot placement. Sun coming out again, by the way. Junior meteorologist, George T. Corrigan, bringing us the weather report. Thanks, George. And we're back to lacrosse action. Mike Long, far side, Hugh Cowell, And then, I just threw up in the back of my mouth a little bit with that. Yeah. Talk, um, about, talk about Taco Bell filthy. Great ball movement, and we are knotted at 14. Really good ball movement. Wow. You know, that's their formula, right? Find ways to scrap out and win face-offs. Bump it along to your offense. Get the ball moving. Get the bodies moving. Create a rotation coming down the backside. Open shot, because you're not going to beat Liam Entman with bat, you know, with even shot. This is a great shot to take. He's got a clean look at it. Body coming forward. Boom. Really good play by Cornell. And a really good game to call at 14 all. And those short stick D middies guys like Luke Gilmartin. And I mentioned Cornell without the services of Michael Bozzi for many games so far this season. Here we go. He's here though. I saw the Boz today. And he says he's feeling better. So who knows? We may see him next week. Patience, here's Dobson. That's a strong left hand, oh. there it is. That's the left hand he wants and he got it. Big time players making big time plays in big time games. And it's interesting, Luke, he's coming onto his strong left hand. He's shooting back against his body and against the flow where he was going, but it went to the stick side and still beat wide. I thought he might save that one. Here it comes, shoots back against his body, against the far post. A lot of action inside on the crease as well. Good defense there by Cornell. Here comes. I feel like they're pulling out of their dodges a little early. They could keep going a little more. Seven on the shot clock for Kavanaugh. This is Chris. Nice cross behind the pass. That's going to go. And a violation for a shot clock. Good and defensive sequence there by Cornell. They slid well. They covered really nice. Long. 
That's where we were earlier, right? Long, getting switched off onto a short. Which is a dangerous matchup for Notre Dame. Great sort of right-left split. Now he fell down. Oh! oh, what a pass, what a finish. Give it to Willem Firth. Came into the game with 17 goals out of Ottawa, Ontario. The Hill Academy. He's, he's a tricky lefty finisher, Willem Firth. And that matchup, when they get Michael Long against the short, is dangerous for Notre Dame. Because now here comes the slides. They lay off Firth for a second. Whoop! Here we go, Goal. Again, we talked about Booker, quality of shooting. You get your clean open shots. Can you stick? Then we're playing good hard shot, but missed the goal. Double here. Carries the double. Now another chance. Just goes down low, save, but the rebound loose. Hot, sloppy mess at the top of the crease. And Notre Dame comes away with it, and that's long. Drive right handed shot, hits the post. Post Malone rears his ugly head. Notre Dame comes away with a great little slip dodge by Ben Ramsey. There, Booker. They gave, a seven, they gave him a 60 second reset. Yep. Shot, save, and a ground ball pickup, and he runs for safety. It was a veteran play by Lombardi. Now running for long, thought about it, but looks like he wants to bleed the clock a little bit. Well, he wants that short stick matchup, too. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> around the corner, gives a little bit, shake and bake. Shake and bake, it rhymes and they're both verbs. That matchup has been very difficult for Notre Dame. They keep sort of getting Michael Long matched against a short. He gets all the way around the goal, gets top side and scores. And here's the replay of it. Just see the Entman. Two seconds left, so plenty of time to set up your offense and get the matchups you want. This is Dobson and Box again. Dobson, fortunate yeah. not to turn that ball over. He's fortunate stayed inside his stick. Inside feed bounces and it skitters towards the sideline. And they're gonna, oh, nice play by McLean. Devin McLean, that was so smart. It's like a classic Devin McLean play. Smart, crafty, creative. Some might say nifty. Oh, the behind the back. Goes just wide, and there's 15 seconds now on the shot clock, 4.07 on the game clock. Inside feed, shot goal. That is just beautiful. Got that Bob Barker suit game, and Plinko is my style. Beautiful across there, and you know that's a classic Jake Taylor play. He waits, he sees the moment, he sees the crease in the opening, gets wide open, catch goal. That's like that's the way he plays effectively, and really good look inside. And you know, fortunate for Notre Dame, they had a very short shot clock there. There's Jake Taylor, catch redirects it right into the goal. Beautiful goal, nice play, body into it. Thirty on the shot clock here, Booker. Nice opportunity. Oh, skip pass, Kelleher, bam! He is I and I is him. Slim with the tilted brim. Hugh Kelleher. Great shot. Kelleher's really playing a beautiful game today. He's, you know, this year, when you look at him, he's this big, powerful guy that you think would score 30, 40 goals a year. Hasn't, but today's really shooting grip. Great look across the formation here. Shows himself. Gets to step into it, whole body coming, everything coming, goal. Great shot. Great cross field pass. Oh, a shot, worm burner, goal. It's funny, I don't know if they called that play coming right out or whether that's just what ensued and happened, but great, but great play. I also was wondering, could they get it past Wyatt Nuss? He was such in a groove then I don't think he keeps scoring. He's just made so many really good saves. And when a goalie gets in a groove like that, whether hockey or lacrosse, here he comes, 
Takes one look, one look. Bam, there's so much power on that shot. It just gets to the goal so fast that I don't think Wyatt had enough time to react. Comes across the formation, steps to get a little higher, and then boom, it's just whipped. Great shot, teams. 37 seconds left in the wow. game for Notre Dame. Kavanaugh, far wing. And keep your eyes on number eight for Notre Dame, Dobson. 23 seconds left. They do not have a timeout. And here is Patty Cav. Kavanaugh passes down the wing, ball in and out of the stick. Aiden Blake tries to get it. Now they got time, room, goal. Notre Dame with 6.4 left. Wow. Coach Busick is going to take a timeout, but what a crazy, what a crazy, cra I mean, I don't know where to start the highlight. So they're going with Patty Cav from up top, who's going to try to get to his right hand. Good coverage here by Cornell. Tries to dump it down, but it wasn't a great pass. It sort of jiggles out a little bit. Then there's a tough ground ball. Great pickup by Chris Cavanaugh, who takes a look inside. Shot, goal. Just and it... An odd series, the last minute or so, was the same ball. And he can just chuck it. Three seconds. And by the time that lands, the Irish will have maintained their number one ranking with an 18-17 thriller here at LIU. Great game to watch. And so much fun to see scoring back in lacrosse. There was that time where it was sort of 8-7 to seven and 9-8. to eight. Now we're at 18-17. Goals, action, excitement. It's just a super day, Booker. Thrilled to be on the call with you. And to your credit, there was great goals.